Okay, this is uh, sort of a video tour of the whole uh, rooftop. Uh, today is June 6th. It's 2020, and it's my mom's birthday, so happy birthday, Mom. <laughs> All right, um, as you can see along the perimeter here, I've got uh, trees and flowers, and that's for pollination. And uh, this is the neighborhood I live in. It's the upper Manhattan section of uh, the city. I've got a composting station set back there in the background. We have a couple different methods, uh, short-term and long-term composters. And then back there I have my uh, raised bed of squash. I'm growing cucumbers off those A-frames back there. And I have hollyhocks and um, coral bells and roses and sunflowers on the side there. And then uh, moving over to this section here. I got a lot of tomatoes and carrots growing together uh, to follow up with uh, companion gardening. I intersperse some uh, nasturtiums in there uh, as well as some uh, marigolds. And then over in this section I've got my uh, good old hot peppers growing behind this uh, evergreen. And uh, I've got uh, some beautiful flowers behind that. Um, these particular blue spiked flowers are called salvia. And then we have uh, some big sunflowers growing and a whole bunch of rosemary and dill and eggplant. Over there in the back corner, over there is sort of uh, the recreation area where we can sit down and have lunch or just take a break from all the uh, garden activities and just kind of relax and take it all in. I got a rain barrel set up, we're harvesting rain. I also have a sun station on near the rest area where we harvest sun so you can run your uh, electronic devices and uh, radios, lights, things like that. It's pretty easy. Uh, I've got about four or five of those set up throughout the garden. One of uh, the setups runs a pump which pumps our uh, rain barrel. I just pour fertilizer into the rain barrel. It's an on-demand pump, and that's how that works. Uh, this row right here is uh, raspberries. And in the middle of this row, we have uh, some more companion gardening going on. Got blackberries at the end, and then I've got uh, tomatoes and onions growing. And I intersperse some basil and some nasturtiums and some chives. But mostly tomatoes and onions. They're doing really well. And then uh, over here in this section here is uh, our raised beds, uh, growing lettuce, uh, bib lettuce, arugula. And then back there uh, I got some uh, more sunflowers and jasmine popping up. And I've got uh, some zinnia spread in this box right here. And I've got zinnia in that last row back there. I don't know if you can see it, right behind that pine tree. Uh, there's a lot of uh, zinnia back there. So the whole idea is to get as many flowers and uh, diversity in the garden as possible. And it does a lot of things. It aids in pollination and it also aids in sort of uh, mitigating a lot of those uh, harmful insects that will uh, eat up your, your plants in no time like uh, cucumber beetles that I was battling this morning. I'm waiting for some diatomaceous earth to re... re uh, to get here tomorrow uh, but in the meantime I've just been simply spraying them with uh, soapy water and uh, that seems to have done the trick I'm keeping an eye on them every day um, the greenhouse is right there right in the middle you see and uh, yeah doing a lot of propagation in there extra tomatoes uh, some flowers some different uh, flowers that we've been uh, cultivating uh, this season like Rudbeckia, uh, Gonfera um, Japanese Comanche, um, Linaria, so we're going to be planting those. And I have so also some poppies growing in this, uh, in this row as well. Okay, man, there you go. There's the garden. Beautiful Saturday, June 6, 2020. I hope everybody is safe and uh, 
Everybody matters, especially Black Lives Matter. Extremely important. Okay. Bye.